we've conducted probably a hundred or more interviews um, from from people all over South Florida. We've uh, um, we've interviewed people in jail and prison who say they have information. Um, usually once or twice a month we get a call from someone who says they have some new information and we go and we talk to them and and um, right now we're fairly confident we know what happened and and who's responsible there's several or multiple individuals involved but we just don't have the evidence right now to make an arrest and to go through with the prosecution um, we know there's eyewitnesses uh, who saw what happened and know what happened but they just won't talk to us or they won't tell us the truth we've interviewed them but they just won't tell us um, the truth. It, it did not involve Mexicans. Uh, there was a, there's a theory that you know Jerome testified against uh, uh, some Mexicans in uh, Operation Mexican Snow, which was a big drug case several years ago. And there's a theory running around that the Mexicans killed him as a result. And we've ruled that out. That's that's absolutely not what happened. Um, you know this is this is a case involving drugs and drug dealers and and uh, potentially you know there's two ways this could have gone, but it involved drugs and drug dealers. It's, it has been a year, and um, he's not forgotten um, the community. They keep me going. Um, they're very supportive. They are my reminder. It has been a little rough, only because I don't have peace. I mean, there's no closure. I mean, I don't know who did it. I mean, I don't know who was involved, but um, I'm not the bad guy. I'm quite sure he wasn't. As a matter of fact, I know in my heart he wasn't because of anything that he had, if he would give it. Um, like I said, I'm not out to be the big bad wolf or anything because Jerome, he wasn't a person of violence. He wasn't. Um, it's been hard because of the two sons that he left behind, but it's also been a great experience because the two boys that he did leave behind, I mean, it comforts me. We know people in the community saw what happened and know what happened, and they just won't tell us the truth or they won't give us the information we need to prosecute. Um, they're afraid of retribution, but you know we, we've worked another murder case last year in which uh, the suspect, two suspects, were from East Stewart, and it was witnessed by people in East Stewart. We made arrests in that case based on their testimony, and those witnesses are fine today. There was no retribution. Um, it's called what's doing right, you know, is right, and and we just we got to get that point across that they shouldn't be in fear. You know, the the rest of the community feels the same way. If these guys are put in jail, that, that makes them all the more better and the place safer. We just need someone to have the guts to come forward and say, yeah, this is who I saw did it. And we have enough other evidence that once we can get, get you know, at least one solid eyewitness, we can go forward.